Bit of a different video today, but I just wanted to thank you all so much for 2,000 subscribers. I think it just means a lot more to me than the 1,000 subscriber milestone, as I reached it almost immediately following the Summoning Salt video. I went from 160 to 1,000. Doesn't mean that I'm not grateful for it, because I definitely very much am. It was just a surreal experience seeing everything rise up. But after 1,000, it was up to myself to organically grow the channel further. Because, like... If you get featured as a prominent person in a video with 5 million views, you expect that some people are going to come over to your channel and subscribe. But after your 15 minutes of fame are over, they're likely not going to care about you uh, or be bothered in anything else that you do. But then two, two years later, nearly two years later, I've been slowly growing the channel up, mostly thanks to Switch Sports releasing, and organically gained 1,000 more subscribers of my own work and my own effort and my own content. To me, this is more of the 1,000 sub special. This is what I've achieved, not what I've inherited necessarily. Switch Sports pretty much couldn't have come at a better time. In the bigger picture, it should have been a launch title for the Switch, and the game wasn't that great, but it was the perfect opportunity at the perfect time to just show the world what I can do when I'm put against real competition, against real opponents in real time. So I just have to actually thank Nintendo for releasing Switch Sports at that time. I'm probably the only person to be thankful it released in that underbaked state. Now we get to the title. The TLS in my name is something that's somewhat unintentional became a great mystery around me and once I understood how mysterious it was I quite liked it and I kept it that way was it my initials in my name was it something like the legendary speedrunner or was it entirely for show it separated those that just exist in my life to those who really wanted to get to know me better if they asked and showed interest in what the TLS stood for they didn't gloss over it you know that they do want to get to know you and likely be your friend but even if you already know what it means I'm gonna go through the whole backstory summary of getting there because TLS was absolutely not the first acronym at the end of my name. In fact when I first started using the shockwave name when I was 10 and the only social media I used was Miiverse on the Wii U, I didn't have anything special and I went by the full shockwave name. However like any 10 year old did and don't lie I'm pretty sure you've done the same is go to the keyboard section, go to the Russian alphabet or the symbol menu and choose symbols that look like English letters just to make your name sound fancy. I I also remember doing the thing where you put XX at the beginning and end of your name too. The last thing before the acronyms was I put whatever game or community I was into at the time into the name, which I know is common practice now. I know that speedrunners like to have SR at the end of their name. I was into Mario Odyssey as it had recently came out, and Mario Kart which I'm still into now, so I put them at the start and end of my name, becoming the very concise MK Shockwave SMO. Then I decided it was time for a change, and so I decided to become Shockwave TLG. Not S, but G. So you may be wondering, then what does the TLG stand for? Well, the TL, with myself always wanting a name revolving around electricity when I was younger, stands for the lightning. That's why you see lightning in my Switch profile picture and my channel banner, which has been the same PNG since 2018. And the G? Yeah, you can probably guess. Gamer oh dudes, do that. After a few months, I realized how stupid it was to have Gamer in your name, so I wanted to change it, and so I became Shockwave TL I. Now the I? At the time, I was well into the Splatoon competitive scene, so then I became the Lightning Inkling. And then finally after that, we get to TLS, which has stuck for over four years now. The S was formed when I was actually playing a bit of Rocket League. I was absolutely no good at it, but in the game was this teams mode where you could create your own football team or something like that. And I decided that if I were to make my own team, I would call it the Lightning Strikers. The double entendre of the striker position in football and a lightning strike really resonated with me greatly. And so I decided the opportunity couldn't go to waste, so I decided to become the lightning striker. So yeah, this channel's full name is Shockwave the Lightning Striker, thanks to Rocket League. I have two videos lined up for you that I'm really looking forward to making, so I hope to see you then, and thanks so much for 2000 subscribers. Take care.